Okay, so today I'm going to be doing um, a brow tutorial. I'm going to be showing you how I fill in my eyebrows. <clears throat> so first I'm going to start off by priming my eyebrows and I'm going to be using uh, e.l.f. primer. And I'm using this just so this can help the um, the pencil that I'm going to be using to fill them in last um, all day. And it won't smudge off your face. And I'm going to be using um, Milani um, brow pencil. And it has like a little spoolie at the end. And this is what it looks like. So I'm going to go ahead and Grandma, brush them up. Okay, so we're just gonna go in. And just fill in where, you, where there's like no hair. Small um, strokes. Put a mark here, because that's where your eyebrow is supposed to start, right in the middle right here. And then when you move it to like right here, this is where the arch should be. So to find your arch, you can use this to help you. And then you go all the way down, this is where your tail of your eyebrow is supposed to end. So just one, you can even do connect the dots. One, two, three. So the tail is supposed to match right there, and right here is where the um, art should be. So you can either do connect the dots before you start, you know, and just till you get the hang of it. Just light strokes. You don't want it want it to be too uh, thick towards the front of the brow because you want, want it to fade in. You don't want to hit, get that box look. Okay. And then what you're going to do, you're going to take your spoolie and just blend that out at the um, beginning of the brow. Just drag that color out. See? And it's gonna look like that. This eyebrow is filled thin, this one isn't. I'm just filling in a little bit more. That's how you get that. That's your first brow. Okay, so we're gonna work on the second one. And then remember that your eyebrows are sisters, they are not twins, so the other brow is not gonna look exactly like the first brow. So just remember that. Eyebrows are not twins, they are sisters. So they are not supposed to look exactly alike. Just you know, similar. But you don't want to walk around with one thick brow, one brow looking extra big, and one looking, you know, extra small. So you want to try to get them um, sim almost close to the same. So I'm going to do my connect dot.
after you do that, you're going to want to take, um, get a concealer. You can use a concealer or a foundation or whatever you have at the time. I'm going to use a concealer that's a few shades lighter than I'm going to be using this Bedellium Tool um, flat brush. And it looks like this. And it looks like this on the side. I'm going to put this in my... You don't really need a, a, a lot. <laughs> a small amount goes a long way. So we're going to, which side I'm going to do first, I'm going to do this side. I'm going to go under the brow and just clean it up. And you just drag the rest of it down. Just like that. I don't know if you can see that, but. And then you want to take a blending brush. And this is an elf blending brush. And you want to take um, uh, some makeup mist. Spray the brush just to get a little damp to help you move the product around and blend everything out and just blend everything. You either can use your fingers or you can use a brush. If I'm in a rush, um, I will use um, my fingers. to do the top of my brow and I'm going to be using my actual um, shade and I'm using going to use my foundation um, color in this um, black opal you could use a concealer um, foundation whatever you use that's by you or well, whatever you have you can use and I'm going to be just getting some of that product out of the top I should have cleaned it off first top of the brow. blend everything out. And that's how you get your sharp eyebrow. Now I'm going to show you how to do it just using your whole just one shade your actually your actual skin tone so on with the other brow i'm just going to use the same color on top and the bottom just so you can um see what it looks like because the lighter one actually just give you a highlight under your brow and if you're not going for that highlight look under your brow you can just you know use uh your regular shade And 
that's how I do my brows.